I'm Butch McGentry. It's loud. I'm Butch McGentry. You may know me from such clips as Butch McGentry's Animal Entry and Going Wicked Friggin' Fast, the Ricky Craven story. I'm here in Bangor, Maine, at a place called Young McGeordie's Farm. Come with me as we delve into the innards of farm life. This here is Stinky the Goat. He's nine years old. He likes to wear hats backwards. He likes to eat old cigarette butts. I like to picture Stinky with like a, like a David Bowie voice. It's me, man, Stinky the Goat. Pass me your old GPC cigarettes, man. Yeah. Tell him, Stinky. <laughs> These pigs eat up to eight waterfowl a day. That's nearly 11 pounds of raw meat. Look how happy these pigs are. If these pigs are, were to escape, I don't think I had the physical stamina or physical capacity to keep up with them. These are called Mexican sprinting pigs. In the West Indies of Chile, oh Jesus, come on, come on. Look out, look out, oh God, which one? Corner them! Oh! Corner them! Mexican! Put an APB out. Mexican sprinting pigs on the loose at McJordy's farm. Young Mc I'm on the chase! They're gone. Forget those, forget those pigs. What pigs? What pigs at McJordy's farm? There's none. Oh, look. Yeah, not so tough now, are you, pig? Huh? Oh, I'm exhausted. He put curds and whey in this bucket, and he feeds them to the pigs every day so they grow strong. And then in July, he's gonna race them in Chile at the inaugural Pig Olympics of... That one's gone. We lost the other... Oh, look at... Oh, jeez. What, pig? His skin is made out of armor coating, like a truck bed liner. Just like that. That's what I went to school for. That's what I went to school for. If only the people over at Rite Aid saw me now. Oh, I've graduated a class up. Butch McGentry wildlife expert. What do we learn here, right here? Do we learn that pigs get away all the time? That pigs, in essence, are like us? No, we didn't learn that. Butch McGentry here. This cow over here has its teats out. This cow's gone wild. Dump him out, cow! Stop! 
stall tactic. I learned that in the jungle. My stamina. I'm recovering like I'm in a video game. When you're a wildlife expert, like I am, Butch McGentry, you know that safety is first, and then partying. These llamas here spit a venomous poison. It's not an everyday spit that you see on the streets. It's the most dangerous poison in all of Europe and Western hemispheres. That's right, it can eat through the hardest die-cast metal in the world. And that's not even just the first layer. It's a three-step process. First, it burns your retinas. And then it burns everything else that's in your eyeballs and hollows it out. And that's not good. <laughs> nope. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, oh put your gentry here. Oh, God, it's burning my retinas! Oh, God! Oh, it's step three already! It skipped one and two! Oh! Oh, it tastes like... Oh, God! Alan's coffee, brandy, and milk! Oh. Oh. It's actually the fourth time that's happened today. I'm gonna fail my eye exam next week. I got that, too. Great. I really want to get uh, some pictures here. Document this officially. It says I have seven left, but I don't know. Flash on? Back to work. <clears throat> Green Acres is the place for me. Farm tools and such is why I use. I don't know the words to the song. <clears throat> I should have been a farm boy myself. The McGentry name goes on for centuries. My grandpappy, great Arthur McGentry, did a lot of work with FEMA and such. Preservation of animals is what I'm all about. That's Butch McGentry, that's me. You know, I've been thinking a lot about animals. Oh my God, that's a, that's a coyote. Warning fire! <laughs> Stay back, it's a coyote. Trav, stay back. Stay back, Trav. Stay back. I know how to handle this one. Tranquilizer dart. 50 cc's. Injected to the tibula. Actually, it's friendly. Never mind. Never, I think it's a house pet. That's not good. Shouldn't keep coyotes as house pets. The hell kind of farm is he running here? It's been a long day here at Young McJordy's farm. Just thinking back on it. Shush. He's overcoming me. Your, your teeth are like Renee Zellweger's. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. But in conclusion, we learned one thing today. Keep your wits about you. Keep your stamina up. Actually, it's, more than, it's gonna be more than one thing. Keep your stamina up. Keep your head on a swivel, a pivot of wildlife. Butch McGentry, into your hearts, into your home, into your vagine. <laughs>